Welcome. In a previous video, I installed Windows on an Intel NUC computer. And in this video, I'm going to be installing the Samsung Magician software since I used a Samsung SSD. So in order to do that, I have the Edge browser open here. And we want to go search for the Samsung Magician download. And it looks like it's the first link that comes up here. We'll click on it. And I'll click on Magician Software, this link here. Hit Download. And I'll hit Run on this one. And the Magician Software has optimizations and things for the Samsung SSD. They'll say, do you want this device to make changes? I'll say yes. What language do I want? English. Minimize this. It says, are you a resident of European country? I'll say no. And then it has the setup wizard. I'll hit next. I'll read this offline. Next. Again, next. Ask me where I want to install it. I'll do the default location. And I don't want a desktop icon or quick launch icon. I'll hit next. And then I'll hit install. And I'll choose to launch it, and I'll hit Finish. Okay, so it found the SSD here. It might even find the second one I have on here. I still have the USB drive in. I'll get that out of there. Okay, so let's see what we have now. 860, so we also have the 850 Evo. This is the disc that has Linux on it right now. So I just want to choose the 860 Evo drive. And if we click system compatibility, looks like everything is good. There's a performance benchmark, you can run that. Let's run that just to see what we're getting. Okay, so the performance test is complete. We look here, we have a read of 559, write of 521. Uh, random IOPS is 62,011 read and 56,396 write. So that seems about what you'd expect. If we click on performance optimization, we'll have some things come up here. And it says performance, uses trim, Let's see. Okay, we want to run this. It says in Windows 8 or higher, you can optimize drives below and optimize drive performance. So I'll click that. And I'll choose this and I'll hit optimize. And I'll hit close. Okay. Okay, I'll look at over provisioning here. And it says over over provisioning over provisioning optimizes the performance and lifespan of your SSD by setting aside extra free space on the SSD. So right now it has 10%. I think this help is kind of confusing. Let's see what happens when we run this. There we go. So. It looks like this is doing 10%, so we can hit set there. Okay, so we've over provisioned 10%. There's secure erase. So an interesting thing about SSDs, like when we just over provisioned and things like that, is the software doesn't give you a direct connection to the drive. So it can be difficult to secure erase. So you'd want to go in and use this utility if you're ever going to get rid of this um, computer and one to erase this drive. Of course, we're not going to do it now. Then here's data security. This would be for encrypting your drive. I'm not sure this will work with Windows Home. Let's see. 
It says encrypted drive is ready to enable. So if we click that, it looks like that is on now. So let's close that. So another thing here we have is this rapid mode. If we click that, this is rapid mode is it, this performance improvement tool provides more convenient PC use experience. Users can experience speeds that exceed the original performance of the SSD. All right are reserved for Samsung Electronics. I think that should say all rights are reserved. It says caution to activate rapid mode. The system needs to be to verify the selected Samsung SSD and check system configuration. So I'll hit OK. It says your computer must restart after enabling rapid mode. I'll say yes. Okay, it says the computer is going to restart, so I'll restart and I'll come back to you when it's done. Okay, it booted. I'll type my password in here. And then I will open the Samsung Magician again. Okay, so and so from what I understand, this rapid mode will utilize your RAM to uh, speed up your SSD. So up here it says drive condition is good. It says firmware version is old version. So let's hit update there. Now, if you were doing this on a drive that had a lot of data on it, you would absolutely want to back it up. This is a brand new install. So if this screws everything up, it's not going to kill me or anything. It's going to shut down the system. I'll hit shut down. Okay, so it shut it completely down. I'll log back in. And I will go back in. I think I can just type Samsung Magician here in this box and it'll pull it up. And here we are, we're up. We have drive condition is good, firmware is the latest. We have the trim enabled and rapid mode on. Let's see what, if we hit this here, this goes to the second drive. So I'm probably not gonna do this on camera, but this looks like this firmware is also old, so I'll update this later too. But So that's the basics of installing Samsung Magician on Windows 10. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.